Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to another 2D hack and slash video uh, for this series. It has been going quite a while now, but I am pretty happy with how this series is turning out, and we're getting close to the finish. So if you've made it with me this far, then you've put in quite a bit of work, and you should be proud of the work that you've put in, and hopefully you've enjoyed it and learned something along the way. So in this video, we're going to be creating a simple particle system for our enemy, for when we hit an enemy. So we're going to create a new sprite for this. And I'm just going to create a sprite that is has a width of, uh, I'm thinking about 16. Well, let's do 24 and a height of 4, like this. And whoops, I forgot to turn off maintain aspect ratio. So let's set our width back to 24. There we go. So we should have kind of a bar like system like this. We're just going to get our white color and draw kind of a particle effect. Something like that should be good. Now I'm going to center this. We'll do middle center for our origin and we can we can use this for a nice particle. Now I'm going to use objects for this. Uh, but it would be possible to use GameMaker's built-in particle system for this. But I think um, we're not going to have lots of particles on the screen. I'm just going to use objects for now. So O hit effect like this. And then we'll set, um, what? we should probably name this sprite. So let's do F2 S hit effect. So we've got a nice name for it. Um, in our create event for this particle, we'll just do uh, choose We'll, we'll say direction equals choose, uh, or no, no, not choose, random, random 360. So we'll move in a random direction. We'll set our speed equal to uh, random range. And this is tricky. What speed do we do? Um, maybe like five to 10 or something. We'll have to experiment with this to get it to look good. Uh, and then we'll want to set an alarm. We'll set our alarm equal to random range, maybe like four to eight frames. Now in, a, in our alarm, we're gonna destroy the particle. So we'll just say instance destroy like this. And that should be all we actually need. Um, oh, we do need to set the image. We do need to set the image angle to match the direction. So image angle equals direction, like that. Okay. Once we've done that, we can come into um, basically our hitbox right here. And whenever we hit an enemy uh, right here, where we're dealing damage, we can use a repeat to create some particle effects. So let's do like 10 and see how that looks. And we'll just do instance create. Well, let's get kind of, let's create them. Now nah, it's fine. We'll just create them all in the center. Instance create layer um, other dot X other dot Y uh, layer ID would be effects and then o underscore hit effect like this let's let's just see how this looks we'll iterate on this if it doesn't look good um get something it's always good to get something down and then iterate on it and that's not too bad um but it's obviously creating the hit effect at the the enemy's um y position uh, which is the ground, which doesn't look very good. So let's subtract from this just a little bit so that it looks better. So let's subtract 12 from where we create this and see kind of how that looks. There, that looks much better. Where did our, where did our screen shake go? We should have screen shake. Add screen shake. Uh, 
Oh, we only have screen shake for when the skeleton gets hit, not the enemies. I don't remember if I had screen shake on the enemies. I'm going to check that real quick in the source code. Don't I don't remember in the reference code, I mean. Seems like I had a very slight amount of screen shake when the when the enemies get hit. So maybe we'll do that too. Let's add just a teeny bit of screen shake for when the enemies get hit. Like let's set the intensity like two or something. I don't know, three. Something really low. So there's there's just a little bit of impact for when the enemies get hit. That's that feels way too strong, right? Like, let's do two and five. So we'll, we'll go a lot lower and see. It does feel nice though to add just a little bit of screen shake. Yeah, that feels good. That's it's amazing how much how much of a difference that makes. Okay, and let's make sure that our camera is not visible anymore. There we go. And we'll close this. And our particle, it's too big, to be honest. Um, oops, middle center. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in and edit it. Let's erase some of this right here. And I'll just erase a bit of this, um, kind of like that. And we'll try this again and see how this looks. Yeah, I, th I th personally think that looks better. And it really helps, oh, dang it, we got hit there. Really helps. Oh, there's our enemy. I was like, are we not going to get another one? I think this, it's simple, and it's not even super fancy, but I think it really helps to improve the, the way the hits feel. Like, they just feel so much better now than they did before. So let's save. There you guys there you all go. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. And the next one will be handling handling the death states for our two enemies. Um, basically kind of juicing up the game just a little bit more. So that's what we'll be doing next. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. And I will talk to you all later.